Hello, I'm Anne Potter Hope from Niagara Faculty, and I'd like to demonstrate the Atlanto Axial Roach Tree Stability Test in a weight bearing position. The Atlanto Axial joint has a lot of range of motion, so it's important that we get a good, stable fix of the axis of C2 without blocking the roach tree movement that you're going to test. It's also important that you do a pivot rotation and not allow other movements to occur as you do the rotation. So firm but comfortable fixation of C2 without blocking the atlas motion. And we turn and we get to about 20 degrees before we pick up some tension. And I'm not sensing any restriction through range you just reach the end here and there is a capsular kind of tightness that has built up. If I were to side bend him slightly to the left, that has slackened his left alar and will enable him to rotate another few degrees on him about 10, ideally 20 degrees to further to the right. We come back to the middle again and this time we take him 220 degrees of right rotation. Now if I side bend him to the right slightly and then attempt further rotation, you can see that none is possible. If I fix at that point and gently stress, if he experiences pain, particularly on the left side, one could hypothesize that one of the reasons for that pain could be a strain of the left alar ligament.